Hey, what's up guys, it's Winston and today we'll be taking a look at the ASUS ROG Maximus X Hero motherboard. This motherboard features the latest Intel Z370 chipset suitable for all Coffee Lake CPUs, the latest 8th generation core processor. Now it uses the 1151 socket but it's not compatible with the older 6th and 7th generation uh, core processors. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, so yeah, but this motherboard is the latest in the Maximus series and uh, we'll be checking out the features as well as uh, building the test system and then giving it a blast uh, against other Z70 motherboards. So the uh, Zeus ROG Maximus X Hero is more or less the top of the line Z70 chipset motherboard you can get on the market. There are other models including the uh, Apex version. The Apex is more designed for the uh, overclocker, the extreme overclocker. Um, it has the reduced uh, features but it's aimed purely for the overclocking. But the Hero has all the features, extras and uh, it's more really for the enthusiast, the uh, top end, high end user uh, with, who loves all the features. All right, so let's talk about some of the features of this motherboard. It has all the usual extras as found on the, all the Maxima series, including the uh, Supreme FX Audio. It's uh, Aura Sync ready, and it has uh, two M.2 slots for your uh, SSDs. And it has uh, support for the um, dual SLI, as well as a three-way crossfire. Uh, four DDR DIMM slots uh, up to the DDR4 4200 plus. Uh, OC. Um, then you have all the uh, extras including the reset button, the power on button, the diagnostic LED so it has some good overclocking features. So uh, let's uh, give it a blast and see how it performs and uh, we'll do a quick unboxing. See you later. Alright so we have the ASUS ROG Maximus X Hero motherboard. Let's do a quick unboxing. Let's take a look, nicely packaged, yep, nice protective cover, then you have the motherboard itself. Again, let's go for the accessories first before anything else, so, uh, oh, there you go, yep, usual um, a sheet of stickers, yep, from uh, ASUS, the ROG stickers, yep, that's nice. Inside we have the uh, driver disc, and there's a coaster, yeah, usual stuff. Uh, the motherboard manual and instruction, more stickers, and obviously the uh, the cable uh, mod coupon there for your cables. Um, some more instructional leaflet. All right, let's have a look at the accessories here. On this side, we have um, usual um, brackets. Uh, there's a pin header there. Uh, there's a uh, yeah, two-way SLI, uh, M.2 screws. And over here, we have um, the uh, SATA cables, yep, there's a couple of SATA cables there, and some thermal probes, um, yep, the usual stuff, and uh, fan cables. That's pretty much it for the uh, accessories in the box. Um, let's have a look at the, uh, the motherboard itself. So let's take that over and move this over here. So we have the uh, motherboard itself here. It's a full-size ATX, um, very nice. Nice uh, hood there for your I.O. Heat sink is nicely uh, contoured and shaped. This is the, uh, the socket uh, 1151. Um, only suitable for the 8th generation core processor. So it's not compatible with the older generation 6th or 7th generation core processor. Uh, we have on this side then uh, 4 DDR uh, DIMM slots. DDR4 DIMM slots. Um, then your diagnostic LEDs at the top here, and there's an OK MEM button. Uh, three fan headers there for your uh, AIO, CPU cooler, and things like that. Um, the 8 pin uh, extended power for your CPU for the motherboard, and there's the usual 24 pin power there. Uh, U.2. Uh, this is the uh, heat shield, the ROG heat shield. Uh, for your uh, M.2, there's one here and uh, one dot, and the M.2 here. So you have two uh, M.2 connectors there for your uh, SSDs. Uh, three, three uh, PCIe 16 slots there. 
uh, two then for your SLI and obviously uh, if you want three-way uh, crossfire as well okay let's take a look on this side then we have um, six SATA ports yep six SATA ports uh, more fan headers there here and uh, a load of uh, headers for your USB and USB 3s and uh, interesting at the bottom here uh, more um, buttons for your uh, reset power and that kind of uh, old clocking so that's pretty cool start button nice all right supreme fx audio and then moving along here you've got this uh, cover there for your motherboard there all right so here let's look at the io uh, we have the uh, bios uh, reset, clear CMOS, uh, then is your HDMI, okay, and display port. So you're uh, ready to go and just plug in your cable to get, get you know, working. Uh, there's your uh, BIOS and key boot USB connector. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, four USB 3.1s. Uh, there's a USB 3.1, the type, C, type A and type C. Uh, and there's your LAN port. And there's a array of audio connectors there, uh, ready to go. All right, so this is the uh, Maximus X Hero. Very nice, nice uh, logo there as well. So all that Aura Sync is, is with the, all the RGB. The back of the motherboard, yeah, very plain, but uh, has a nice ROG Maximus Hero, Maximus X Hero there. Uh, but yeah, very nice on the board. Um, expect some good performance out of this. Uh, anything that's the ROG uh, series, uh, we expect some good performance. So we're going to give this a blast and see how it performs against uh, other Z370 motherboards out there. So and then we have the, uh, the Maximus X Hero, the ROG Maximus X Hero from Asus. So I know you enjoyed this video, so you know what to do. Hit the like button and leave a comment below. Uh, you can actually purchase all the items mentioned here via the links down there. Uh, visit our website and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until then, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.